Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a 53 degree Friday the 25th of May. I don't know what the weather's supposed to be like, but it's Friday, and this will be the beginning of a long weekend for for us, because Memorial Day is on Monday. So that'll be nice, very nice. Long weekend, I'm saying. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm not following along, but. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. Well, little woman, it's a hubby. we've made it to work. It is, uh, I don't think much warmer here. No. Yeah, five degrees warmer. But, uh, still cool. <laughs> I'm going to head on down and start my day. All right. All righty. You have a good Friday, and I will see you throughout the day. All right. Hopefully. All right. Love you. Uh, see you. Bye. Bye. So, you guys remember Matt and his dad, Bruce? That brought this is Matt's uh, Bruce's son. This is his F3. And uh, you guys, remember the grumbling uh, front pulley? Oh, I did something to my knee last night and I feel like one old dude. I think it's killing me. I think it was actually scooting Sashi out of the way at my desk. It's the only thing I can think I've done. Anyway, we got a brand new pulley put on here. And there's a bulletin for an updated throttle pipe. Certain VIN numbers had a. <laughs> you guys have seen the camera. Anyway, uh, on some some VIN ranges, the throttle pipe may be. I'm telling you, it is so slight that. Just a regular set of veneer calipers, you can't see the difference. Anyway, it might be machined a little too thick. And as dust and debris make their way between the, the plastic throttle pipe and the handlebar, when you uh, give it full throttle and let go, it can, it can stick. Now, it's, it's not a recall, so it's, it's such a thing that it's not, a, it's not even a safety thing, because you, you can easily turn it back. It's just if you hold it all the way, which when you ever give a F3 full throttle and then let go of the handlebar, you'd be an idiot, I can tell you that. But uh, anyway, you can overcome it. It just doesn't spring back on its own. So it's a new back case, a new, there's a, a an internal pipe that bolts into this, a new pipe that is sized correctly and a new cup and a spring that goes in on the end. And luckily, Matt left his key for his cool handlebar in uh, locks for, uh, for hanging your helmet off and locking it. Your D-ring goes in there, you push the button. Because I'd have had a problem. Because you gotta get the lock tumbler out to get to the bolt that holds, <laughs> holds it on. It's been a little tough to, uh, to get that recall to work. I don't know how that boy made it all the way from Dairy Queen all the way to that light and not melt that ice cream cone. You see that? He was just that ice cream cone looked nice and fresh. Oh! <laughs> the obvious reason for the ride here is to make sure that the grumble's gone. And I was thinking about the throttle pipe bulletin. The uh, grumbling is gone. Imagine that. Oh, you know what? I think he mentioned something. Oh, they both look like they're doing it the same. I think he said something about his right mirror being looser. Well, it seems like I looked at that the other day, but anyway, we'll, we'll pull her apart right quick and get back, take a peek. Oh yeah, she's nice and smooth like an F3 should be. So you guys here in the States, as long as you don't have to work on Monday, which is Memorial Day for us, you guys gonna have, <laughs> you guys gonna have a long weekend. <laughs> I need to check if we're shocked too. Yeah, I was telling you how the non-ACS models 
they uh, bleed air. There's actually a TST, and they say that what the average bleed off should be in a given amount of time. Well, I can tell you, with my big butt on there, she uh, she don't have no air in there. She's ri she's riding low. <laughs> I can uh, tell you whether a uh, quarter's uh, heads or tails at the moment. We'll fix that. Just a quick little key release of the of the back seat and a precision gauge. I'm gonna let you. You gonna let me go? I don't know if that guy's waiting for a light to change. It's not there or what? But thanks. You get some speed in it here. Oh yeah. Well, there's no question that it's going to be gone. The noise, that is. I just want to get a heavy decel on it because that's when they, because they wear a new groove, which is fine until it wears all, <laughs> until it wears all the way through. But when you back off, it's a, uh, it, it's it's trying to get out of the new groove. It, it wore in the pulley, and that's when they go. Whoa. Hey, I was surprised. Any hey, you guys that watched that video, I was surprised how well that grumbling sound came across the camera. I was thinking to myself, these people are going to be wondering, what's that boy hearing down there? Because half the time when I hear something, I don't hear it come across the camera. <laughs> Unless it's an engine ticking sound. And there don't even have to be a ticking sound there for that thing to come screaming across the camera. Not one that uh, you can hear the human ear anyway. Wow, that shock definitely needs some air put in it. My seat bounced over that. All right, check out a mirror. Air up his rear suspension. <laughs> they sure squeeze me in tight here sometimes. And my son's like the worst. You tell me that handlebar would do some damage. If you didn't see that thing sticking out, I'd be buying a saddleback bag lid if I didn't notice that, huh? Man. Come on, BRP. Put all the park brakes in one place for old senile farts like me. All right. Take a look at his, at his murder right quick. And... Oh, I'll just show you right quick. So you switch it to the little tool icon. You lift her up. And there's your... Your straighter valve for your seat right there or your rear shot easy peasy and i showed you guys how the mirror comes apart so that's easy to check all right that's it for the test ride thanks for coming along for the rip i love them f3s man oh man i'll show you how a beautiful k1300s by the way 2013 model i'll show you how a bmw can fix a brp these are the little o-rings I saved those things. That's the little fork bleeder for doing those recalls. I have a whole slew of them floating in here. But you take these little O-rings, and I'll show you what you do to fix this thing. So, and I walked over here with them here. See them little round... Jacob Green, you got a copy? Tabs, yeah. See those on each side? Those... <laughs> radio so those slide on these tabs and the mirror pushes against that and then that one bolt that I was showing you holds it on take one of those BMW o-rings see if I can get to where you can see that see how I slipped it on the end of that nub did it on the top and bottom one and you take your mirror when you slide it on there, see there's a slight gap before I even tighten the bolt down. Snug that mirror right up. It's just plastic riding against plastic and if you're riding a lot of dust and grit and grime, it loosens all that stuff up. and makes the mirror kind of floppy on there. So, that's how a BMW fixes a BRP. <laughs> of course, that never-ending air compressor, because that's a little one, our big one is uh, waiting for parts. But, look, solid. Doesn't have that little clicky clicky sound. Now the mirror's on some uh, little snap clip, so that has a little movement in there. 
If you didn't, it'd probably shake the guts apart in it. But anyway, fixed. I don't know if you guys know some test ride. The, the right side was, was was more jiggly. The left side at the moment is in nice good shape. It's nice and solid. No no movement in the face. There you are. I'm sure all you're gonna hear is wind. Because we got all the windows open. But we's heading home. There's some dark clouds coming up from the south. That is that is looking nasty. That would explain why the humidity is thick as thieves out here. Yeah, it's kinda... Man, it is humid. And look at that, no traffic stuff. You gotta love this. But is it supposed to rain or something? That's not looking very pretty out there, mama. It's not. All right. You'll never believe it, but we're at GC's. <laughs> it's a shocker. So we decided at the last moment, we're going to go on in there and have dinner in there tonight. Yeah, there we what go. What do you all think of Start that? Start the weekend off right. I didn't clean the windshield. So I made a comment. You know, your windshield wipers will clean them. You know uh -huh. what that does? The your windshield blades going over dry, baked yeah. on bugs. Little in them. Yeah. Kind of like forks. They don't last very on long. A dirty fork. You <laughs> will eat them. But anyway, we're gonna run in there and grab a little bite to eat. All right. Y'all come along with us. Yeah. Let's you guys all crowded ready? and I'll be weird and chickened out about filming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So check this out. We got our favorite little spot. I gotta watch the TV because there's a sports thing playing yeah. here. I don't want to get get nabbed by YouTube. Nice, cozy, country feeling in here. So I decided to try Kelly's Bigfoot Country um, Chicken Fried Steak. She got herself a very, very yummy looking bacon cheeseburger. I already ate the vegetables, so Kelly goes, you were gonna take a picture. I go, oh crap. Okay. <laughs> Need a hand dolly to roll me out. They said they didn't have one, so I had to walk on my own accord. I know it. Man, that was some um, kind of good. What's the little green thing down there? It looks like a bottle cap or something. Oh, okay. All right. Whoa. Feels like it's cooled off quite a bit out here, too. Whew. Sure is beautiful out here. It's hard to believe there's any chance of rain. There's like 20% chance of rain tomorrow. Yeah. But this time of year, it's not so threatening. Yeah. It's like a Yeah. In the fall of... In early spring, well, normally at this time of year, that would be very threatening. It's weird that we're getting this nice weather, but I'm not—not not that I'm complaining no, now. No, not at all. <laughs> Man, it's so beautiful out here. It's nice and windy. It's only 53 degrees, though. Holy moly! That feels like snow. <laughs> Goofballs. Well, hello there, you two. Welcome to the end of Friday mm -hmm. and the start of a long weekend. Man, looking forward to this. Yes, very much so. Lovely feeling to think of relaxation, mm -hmm. goofing around, doing whatever the heck you want. For a oh, few days, naps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kelly, Kelly and her naps, boy. Mm -hmm. She likes her naps. It wasn't. Well, it was. Sashi. We're too close to her. She can get to it. She keeps coming up, going. I'm ready to go in now. Played yeah. around out here long enough. Yeah, ready. <laughs> Time to go in. But uh, man, today it was like a. Wasn't I was. I guess I was that busy. It was like a whirlwind. Yeah. It was like a, it was like a tornado spinning the whole time. I was trying to do 15 things all at once. Not sure I got them all done. <laughs> <laughs> I did get the F3 done. Took you for a little rip on that. That was fun. And I talked to him on the phone, and he'll be coming to get it tomorrow. Wait. He bought a no, down, down, the BRP down. stereo kit for it too that he's going to put in. That uh, that does not look like an easy task at all. 
I don't think I've done one of those. It seems like I might. It's a lot of taking the fairing apart, all kinds of stuff. So he'll have fun with that. That'll be some good entertainment for him. That's yeah, for that's sure. It's going to be a project. Hopefully not frustrating. But yeah. But anyway. <laughs> and Kelly was telling me that it wasn't so intense up in parts, you know, because you know, Memorial Day weekend, a lot of people, you know, taking off, take off early on Fridays to go camping or do whatever they do. It's like the first little fling of of the summer, you know, it's technically still spring, but, uh, anyway, the end of the day, yeah, it's uh, almost sunset, if you can tell by the crazy dim light, <laughs> it's a little chilly, yeah, I can put my little coat on, mm-hmm, you're so warm, you're always so warm, <laughs> it's just not fair, <laughs> it's probably my body processing that wonderful GC's meal, oh, I'm gonna be full for the next two days, oh man, that was so good though, Woo! That was really good. Mm hmm. Well, Mama, we should probably roll on out and say goodnight to these kind folks. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And I hope your Saturday or Sunday are wonderful. I was yep. trying to think what day of the week it was. Yeah. <laughs> it's DGIF, Mama. I know, but it was a long week and my little brain was like mushed. Where are we? <laughs> I know it. All right, so we'll see what, what we come up with tomorrow and see what the weather is doing. I think it's supposed to be pretty nice for the most part. But I think so. We'll go goofing around. We'll go do, we'll do come something. Up with something. Fun. We'll take you along. Yeah, <laughs> you are invited. Heck yeah. All right. All right, we better roll. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>